The last time I showed this project it was on a breadboard with only four steps running. Obviously the wiring for 32 LEDs, 16 switches and 18 pots would have been silly. Plus these switches don't fit on a 0.1 inch grid. So I designed this PCB just to connect everything securely and allow me to work on the firmware. It's still very much a work in progress, but now it's running, all the lights come on in the right order. Here I've got it hooked up to my Racket Atari Punk console with the pot set so that I can test the voltage range and check that it's reasonably linear. Something that's not on this board yet is the circuit to convert the controller's output to a control voltage. That's because I wasn't sure how to, I wasn't sure how to do that and I wasn't sure how best to do that and whether to go for 0 to 10, 0 to 5 or whatever. This prototype allowed me to experiment with that circuit separately and what I've ended up with, I've built rather appropriately on one of my hack modular breadboard uh, strip boards. Mitch's channel is well worth a follow and I'll link to his shop in the description. So that's working very well as far as the CV output goes, but actually the very first thing I did, because digital is easier for me than analogue, was to add MIDI output and make the firmware for this drum sequencer. I put a switch on the board here which allows me to switch between four patterns for bass drum, snare drum, hi-hat and tom. This started out as me wanting to join two baby eights and so a CV gate out controlled by pots and switches was all that was required. I've added MIDI output and I've started thinking about all of the things I could do adjustable swing rhythm, multiple patterns, quantizing to certain scales or keys, encoder and screen for a menu system, there's a long list and classic project creep. Now I'm really not sure what I want it to be. Keep it simple or big feature list. <laughs> 